Mario was so tired. He looks just like the yellow toad. Anyway, hey guys, it's me, Meteor. And here we're going to be in some more Super Mario Galaxy, little part 5 here. And now we're going to be going over to the right side down galaxy. Ooh, what awaits us there? Let us begin and find out. Breaking the laws of gravity. I'm, I'm pretty sure Mario already did that through, uh, I don't know, about five minutes into the original galaxy, but whatever. I guess you, you could break him more. B break him even more beyond the bounds of possibility. Just break everything you know about common science. Just rip it apart in half. First thing you want to do, jump. Ah, uh, somebody killing him with the Goom Goomba, but I guess not. Playing on that there. Ah, uh, well that, that was one way of dealing with the problem. I was hoping I could actually try to grab onto the. Never mind. This switch. Hmm. Ground pound it. You got it. Oh yeah. That's a large flower. Hmm. I bet if I try jumping on these, I'll be completely safe. What? The <laughs> okay. All right. Whatever. I wasn't even trying to do that. Okay. Just break these. Break these some more. And I could break the last box. And go in here. Oh no. Oh no, it's you. Again. You deserve that for all the pain you've caused me last game. This is the end of the road for all the trash of the universe. So many boxes, it's getting way out of control if you ask me. Do me a favor and burn all of these as fast as you can. What do you say? Sure. Alright, I'll leave you to it. Break these this way. Try to actually have a pattern when you're breaking these. Just don't try to break them in some random order because you'll probably mess yourselves up horribly. And I'm messing up horribly. Dang it. Come on. No. Phew. I, I messed up in the way I wanted to do it, but I still managed to pull it off. Oh, thanks. That looks great. Here you go. Take this star. Boy, I wish more farks walked as hard as you. Haha. That got that really grinds your gears. <laughs> Voila! You got a star. The great crate incinerator. Of course that was a hidden star that level, that wasn't the main course in the game. I just did that first by accident. I was planning to do it first anyway, but I didn't mean to actually accident. I didn't mean to accidentally sequence break doing it. <laughs> that worked out quite awesome, actually. But yeah, there we go. Screw the rules of gravity. Breaking those laws bit by bit, tearing them apart, tearing apart like the fabric of space and time. Anyway. Oh, well, ha! Take that! I did it! Fool! Ha <laughs> ha! You cannot stand away in the Mario! <laughs> anyway. What I actually want to do is actually flick this switch, and then. You can actually land on that one. You know what? Screw you. You deserve to live for actually doing damage to me somehow. Everything you know about gravity is turned upside down. But, still works the same way, just kind of, if you actually tilt your head upside down, it doesn't look so bad. You have to pretty much ground pound those guys, if I'm not mistaken. 
I think regular jumping doesn't do jack squat. I could be completely, considerably wrong. But who knows? More star bits! Yay! We coins! I probably should have actually gone up there. Can I go up there anymore? No, I can't. Fine. Grab that. Can I, can I, can I jump on you? There we go. Don't fall down. Probably just as confused as you. Woohoo! Flip that crap. Jump up here. Grab this mushroom. Can I jump over here? Yes. Yes, I can. Get as many coins as possible. Chain chomps of death. They'll kill you and crush you to smithereens and worse. There's not really much work. Fine. Fine. Alright, little thwomp. Do your thing. Now what we want to do is actually jump carefully. Well, that, that didn't work out well at all. That was definitely wasn't carefully. Act no! Flip! Alright, oh, getting this particular kind of metal is always freaking annoying to do. Let's see if I just jump there. Nope. If I backflip, maybe that'll probably work out better, actually. There we go. Now, that wasn't so hard. I actually did it properly. Imagine that, how that works. Go figure. Anyway, that's what I have to do there. And yay, checkpoint. Yay. Now, of course, you get another fire flower here. So if you go over here and break that, you could also break down all those and actually get them that way. Kill everything in our path. And hey look, we get another fire flower too, just in case. And the time resets. Grab all these. Get over here. And now the gravity changes again for as a top-down perspective. Interesting, interesting indeed. However, you can actually take full advantage of breaking something here. Come on, I just want to—I just want to flip this. There we go. Stay over here. Okay. Now, if you go over here, you could go through all that, or you could just jump up here and pretty much avoid everything. Yay! Hooray! If I'm not mistaken, also if you go in the corners here, you also get a little one-up for us. But, one place I want to go where I could actually get a lot of star bits at, if I could actually head over there, I believe it's in near the left, bottom left area. Uh, wait a minute, hold on. It's up here, right here. Look at all these star bits you can go ahead and get yourself, right there. Very useful. Ah, uh, what the, what happened? What? All right, well, that was definitely interesting. I'll give it that much. Either way, just fall down there and you get your star. Woohoo! Good job, Mario. Galaxy complete, which means there's pretty much no comet metal on that one, or com or prankster comet on that one, if I'm not mistaken. Either way, <gasps> what's that little thing above your head? You've been through a lot lately, huh? Maybe you should just take a break for a little while, Captain. No way. Little dot. All right, what have you got to say? I've been working hard finding more star bits for you. I can add seven to your total. Right now I have six. Oh yeah, uh, sure. Let me deposit all my star bits. Just in case I get a game over or something. 
Okie dokie. Alright. So now let's send her back in here. And now we can move forward. Well, technically we could have moved forward before, but now we're moving forward officially. Starship Mario can now advance. And here we are at Bowser Jr.'s Fiery Flotilla. Let's fly to this galaxy. Gobble guts, aching belly. Hmm. Cool looking place. Little common metal up there, which you'll actually see in the cutscene. And in this cutscene, too, in case you missed it the first time. I love the music for this area, though. Very fitting. By the way, I must say. I liked Bowser Jr. already before this game existed, but this game really sealed the deal for me and how awesome Bowser Jr. is. I mean, this level won't actually show why I think he's awesome, but either way, you will definitely see it this game. In fact, every every game I've seen so far, Bowser Jr. recently, has been really awesome. Even this, even his little cameo in uh, Dream Team was pretty awesome, actually. Either way, wait for him to fall down, and there you go. Technically, the way this thing you're supposed to do that is actually go over here and try to jump on that way. But nope. You die. You still die. In fact, I'm pretty sure those are actually Goombas just with helmets on their head, if I'm not mistaken. Officially. Let's go ahead and hit that and break this open. More star bits for us along these. Very nice. Uh, I can't just chain you guys? Alright, fine. Hmm. Just do it that way. Hey look! A super shroom. Or a star shroom, or so whatever it's crap it's called. And let's begin! Why are you getting all mad at me, huh, Bowser Jr.? What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? Ha ha ha! Made it this far, huh? I won't need my dad's help to finish you off. I got a big surprise for you. Oh, gobble gut, dinner's on. Don't forget to protect your belly ache bulges. He kind of reminds me of Joker from Klonoa, actually. Saying like, hey, don't watch out for your obvious weakness. All right, pretty much just wait for him to slam down. Quite simple. The last of coins for you to actually restore your health on, in case that's really much of an issue for you. Wait for him to slam down. And and you already break it down to phase one. So I was gonna be going into phase two now, where he goes a lot faster now. So be careful of that. Hey, look at all these little star bits for us. Run away! Run away! Either way, your key intention will probably be trying to actually go near him, but don't. You actually want to try to get away from him for a little bit. Break that. Break that. And then, aw, oh, somebody could do it in one go. Nope. Oh well. Next time. I'll do it next time. I'll just wait for you. I'll be patient. The one closest to his head is probably the one that gives him the biggest trouble overall. But overall, he's kind of a cinch. Just run away from him. And wait. Wait for it. And then... Ah! Dang it! This is being more annoying than it has to be. Still more annoying than it has to be. Come on! Run away! Run away! There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Just had to hit him at the right moment. And then he explodes and dies. 
Ooh, that's a big looking star. Grab those little star bits first. Either way. You got a grand star! A portal to the next world opened up. Got another kind of metal. Got some more star bits. Got some more coins. Wow, look at that. You did it. You brought back a grand star. That's great. Now we can use the power of that grand star to travel to another world. We are one step closer to achieving your special one, buddy. Through space and time to an unknown world we go. I'm jiggling just thinking about it. Ready, Captain? And thus the Starship Mario advances further. Wow, take a look at that. We found an entirely new world. Looks like there should be plenty of power stars here. Go ahead, we're all counting on you, Captain. We found another world in a place full of galaxies. I, now I'm really confused. <laughs> I, is it a world, just one planet and a galaxy? It, it, never, never mind, okay? Never mind. Next time in World 2, we'll be taking on the Puzzle Plank Galaxy. So next time, I will see you guys then.